Hello everybody. So today we will see how to create a Postman workflow, making use of a simple API. And here you can see my collections where I'm making use of the Finding Your Origin API. This is a free API, which is a fun one uh, where you can just key in any name and then try and see the probability of a match to which country this name originates from or most probably where you can find this name commonly. So this API does this. So now uh, maybe I can simply use any other name and then send the request to see what would be the response. Okay, so if I observe the response, as you see, in the response, we find the key value pair, of course, in the JSON format. And the first one being the name, the one which we are passing as a parameter. And then we have a list a list of countries along with the probability of a match. Now, this is how the API looks. Now, if we have to create a simple workflow, we have to keep in mind that every API should be supported with an example. So for this API, I have created an example where the first example is I pass the name. It can be any random name but you, this is one of the example. And the other one, I can send a batch of names and get the list of countries. Both of this example is gonna work well. So this is a, a basic requirement, or let's say prerequisite before we start creating or working on the workflows for API. Now, since this is set, the next step would be to go to flows, and create a new flow by clicking on the plus button. It just creates a new flow. Let me give a name, finding the name origin. Uh, all right, and then I'm gonna close this. This is the blank canvas that you see. And all the workflow that you wanna create can be done on this blank canvas. Now, let us try to create a simple workflow. But before creating one, it is always good to have something in mind, what exactly we want to achieve. What I am thinking to do right now is when I fire up this API request and receive the response with a list of countries, I want to filter out the US and print it out into the terminal. That's exactly what I want to achieve. The first thing is adding the block. So I just add the block. And since I have to send a request, I will choose as send request. Now, there are there is an input terminal and there are output terminals. Request is a place where you can fire up the API and wait for the response. The first thing I have to do is to choose the request. I simply click on the space. It gives me all the collections that's part of my workspace. I choose the place that I have kept or I can find my API. Sorry, that was the wrong one. There's a finding nationality, find your origin. So this is my API. I have placed my request already. So this block helps me trigger the API and receive the response. The response is mostly found through this outlet. And this is for the test outlet. Because I am dealing with the response, I will just go ahead, adding one more block, which can read my response, which is the body. So I can choose select, and then it should be in. This is a good part that you already can see what is that you want to deal with. So because I want to work with the response body, I'm choosing the response body. That's great. I already got hold of the response body. So this is the entire body, which I already received. But just in case, if you're not very sure, you always can add terminal and check whether you're receiving the right details or not. Now, terminal can be found here in this icon. When you open it, you can see the terminal. To trigger this API to start working, you just simply have to click start and you see the details start working. And, and in the terminal, you will be able to see all the response body because that is exactly what we're trying to fetch. That is the response body, but is this our workflow? No, we are almost there, but we still have to add in more details here. All right. So because we want to access country, which is the list, we further have to drill it down to 
To do that, first we have to successfully access this list. Now, let me remove this workflow and then try and add select data because I'm trying to select the data again. It is slash in slash country. That is where my string exists. All right, let's try and loop this into the terminal and see what comes out. Great, so now you see, we have got the data with the country ID and the list, the country which matches to the US. So naturally, because it's a list and we have to loop over this list, we have to choose a block called loop over list. And what it basically does is it loops over each of uh, the entry one at a time and you can receive the element. Each time it loops over, it loops to one element and provides you the details, then goes to the next, then goes to the next. So it basically loops through the entire list. Now, since I am looping and I have to compare the country ID to the US, on the first loop, it fetched me these two details. So it's a good time for me to add a condition. The condition would be data country underscore ID. It's again a reference. It should be US, right? If it is US, then there are two things that I can do. I accept and send it to the default terminal or I reject and I create a new terminal. So for time being, let us only concentrate on what we are passing to the default terminal. Until now, we have seen default terminal showing us all the details and the entire response body. But after what we're trying to do here is looping over the list and reducing it only to the matching value with the country ID US. I accept this if it's gonna match and then I loop it to the terminal. Now I wanna create, clear this terminal and let's see what happens. Cool. So yeah, there you go. The workflow is, is created. So I have a request which generates a response I'm trying to access the response body. And in particular, I want to access country list. I go over the list. In the list, I try to match the country ID with US and send the details to the terminal. Now, what happens to the rejected values? Let's try and create one more terminal. Can I create any number of terminals? Of course you can. And just to ensure, rejected value. I'm going to give a different name to this terminal and re-execute. You see, it got executed. I go to the rejected value and you will be able to see the values which got rejected. So we created a simple workflow with this API. You will be able to create much more workflow based on the need and the requirement of your project.